while I was in China for two weeks, the team have got busy again um, and cut out uh, all the uh, baseboard for the Bella system, just using an MDF uh, type wood, and uh, have countersunk uh, metal thread screws to hold it to the uh, steel frame. Uh, it's looking very good. We'll just have to sand some of the joins, but uh, generally speaking, it's all come together very nicely. So the next stage is to get out the pen and mark out where we're going to cut the grooves uh, for the various streams of traffic. had to clean up the baseboard so we could fit the rail crossing uh, in. Um, we must have used pretty strong glue back in the early days because uh, it took quite a bit of uh, chiselling to get that. Um, we obviously don't have the right tools at the right time but uh, it was effective and uh, we've got that area now clear and we'll be able to glue it down later. We just did some flat test to see that it all fitted, uh, which it does, and uh, we'll get that set in soon. As a bit of distraction, we had a uh, British steel train snake its way around the layout. Um, I think there's nearly a total of 14 wagons all together, but um, we didn't have them all out tonight. But uh, it looks most impressive as a makes its way around the, the larger layout. Anyhow, back to the uh, fella car system and we're marking out all the lines and then I'm going to be working on the crossover, just getting some filler and try and set it into place. As you've probably seen before in my fella car series, uh, I use my wife's bendable curve from her dressmaking, um, which is really handy to get consistent curves. So you can just bend it to whatever um, radius you want and then slide it across and you can immediately match it um, on the other side. So quite a good tool to have. As the crossing still has to have a cover put over the top of it to uh, hide the wires, um, we've not been all that careful uh, in terms of, of the decorative side. Um, we are looking at a couple of options. It may even be just a plaster bandage type <coughs> surface, or we might just use the fellow stick on road surfaces that, that come with the crossing kits. Um, We'll just decide later on how that goes. So just using the spec filler as a base, um, just to get it nice and level, uh, and then that'll dry, and uh, by next week um, it will have set, and uh, we can then just glue the, um, the plastic crossing on uh, in a more secure way.
While that's setting, um, the next stage is to cut a few grooves. Uh, those of you that have done this with a Dremel will find it amazing to watch this tool. Um, when I first lay out, I had gouges everywhere. But this is the Fella Groove Tool, um, which uh, I was able to pick up cheaply in German, Germany, uh, when my son was over there. And it just, it's a breeze to use. A perfect cut, and uh, once you've cut and sort of got the dust out of the way, uh, the wire just slots in snug as a bug. Um, you don't have to fiddle around with it any further. Um, I still put a, a drop of um, super glue just to secure it, but um, the fit is so tight I doubt if you even need to do that. I recommend buying one if you've got a big project. Um, it's an excellent investment. Very good.